so we, we, we have the ATEM Mini here. Uh, there you go. There it is sitting on my desk if you're here on the video. And we have this wonderful new wood-carved uh, uh, situation here that hides all my cords and sits very the, – the ATEM fits very nicely in this system, cleans up. Cleans up a lot of this mess a little bit, uh, so so it seems a little more functional. I get to hide all the cords in the back. It's kind of nice. Um, this is a special uh, design from uh, a place called castcrate.com. Uh, you can go check that out over there. And, and again, I say this is this is a very <laughs> this is a very close functional thing where uh, we talk about it. It's 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 you know for the A10 minis. Uh, in particular, uh, of course, I have the A10 Mini Pro, and there's a there's a nice picture of uh, uh, there it is with the uh, extremes. Um, you know, it talks about the access to the inputs. Uh, I got the Pro modular Pro stand. You can also get something for your uh, Stream Deck the stand. Uh, this one, this model that I got was, I believe, I got the 3499 model. And of course, there's bigger ones for your Extreme. And notice like how it can kind of go next to. Uh, you know, so I can like if I get a stream deck that I want to, uh, um, you know, why is why is the image so small? <laughs> what the hell's going on here? <laughs> it's like, hey, look at the image. I'm like, okay, but it's so tiny. Like they didn't put a bigger image on it. Um, anyways, so that gives you an idea of what that looks like. So the other nice thing is on the top here, um, you you actually get uh, uh, some some nice. There's these little kind of screw holes in it. And if you're familiar um, with with you know if you you when you attach things to cameras and things like that, there's a certain like general screw um, that happens on, on those. And there there's 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 four of them here. And then I'm not entirely sure why. I guess it's more maybe the attach, but there's actually a detachable piece that kind of slides into the top here it's nice because it kind of blocks out a little bit of the mess that i have going on here so i can start attaching as it shows in the pictures here like they have like you know this is pretty much getting set up to be like your own like like personal podcast video podcast video streamer kind of set up again very much for twitch streamers and podcasters but you know as, as they're showing here you can put like recorders and microphones on something like this uh so you can start kind of tricking out a little bit but it's got a nice place that you can attach it too, so it's not like you don't have to get another stand or anything like that. And you can get a kind of adapter, like double-sided screws, to be able to bring a lot of those kind of things in. This also does come in a black mat. I really wish I did get the black mat because it would it would um, match the desk that we have going on here. Like like all of our you know all of our fine IKEA furniture that we have here in the studio it has a nice black finish to it. So I, you know, and then I just have like this this bare wood kind you of. You have thing. the original IKEA wood furniture i do it is like the it, it is like yeah. an ikea device isn't it so like it's very it kind of although i think it's a little bigger build like this is yeah. this is like a good wood build to it you know it feels stronger than this thing so um but no yeah go check that out it, 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 and they have a lot of other cool options i'm kind of looking at too because they they have these other cases that they make that's a little higher end they have a case crate uh a mini extreme so this this thing ranges from uh 200 to 225 dollars so this is a portable system i'm really interested in these actually hmm. uh so the cast crate 3 a10 mini and extreme mobile case basic kit and you see that you can put a monitor in there and i've seen like some custom jobs that people have um and yeah you can put you can put your um uh, system in there it has the exposed ports and everything it's got the attachments across the top again you can attach like your you know your stream deck and and, and put a put in a monitor in there and then it's just in a case and it's a it's it's a production studio ready to go that you can just lay out open up plug your imports in and you can do it i, I honestly personally i'm considering this because I am really liking the functionality and flexibility of the minis um, for, for certain situations. I could see picking up down the line an ATEM Mini Extreme, which would be the bigger one with eight inputs, uh, much like our higher-end production studio soft, uh, uh, hardware. And, uh, and that becomes the portable unit, right? Uh, for like, hey, go to, like we used to do some stuff for public source where we show up and bring all this big ATEM stuff um, or just plug a couple cameras into my laptop and be ready to go. Like I want to get ready to get away from using my laptop as the functional, you know, system 
and and just have these units kind of operate by themselves. Um, like I could see just rolling in those, hook it up, and go. It'll be it, it, the setup would be so much easier than what we do now uh, for something like this. So um, I, I, I Riz, as a, as a Twitch streamer, I, I know the ATM minis like you know have been floating around as options mm-hmm. for 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 people in your in your uh, neck of uh, uh, production here. Um, uh, you know what are production? You, yeah, yeah production. <laughs> I'm not gonna. I, I'm not gonna. And I'm not gonna deflate Twitch, oh, no. Twitch video production at all. Okay. Oh no! Like there are some good Twitch video productions. Yeah. I, well, everybody's learning too, right? So yeah. We're, have a... It's still. It's still. Mm-hmm. It, but I'm running just strictly on Streamlabs, so mm-hmm. you know it's nothing too technical for me. But something like that, and I, I was looking in the stream, uh, the Steam Deck mm-hmm. for for that, and. That actually looks really good for my uh, tiny desk that I have here that I also work at. Uh, it, it, it does seem more compatible, seems more able to press a button mm-hmm. to change stuff, make sure everything's there. Cleans it yeah, up. It, sorry, go ahead, sir. It cleans it up. Cleans it up. Cleans up my, well, probably not clean, clean, up, clean up my messy desk, but it, it makes it less, it makes it less messy. Mm-hmm pretty much and that does look nice Mm-hmm. Yeah, and, see, and, and this is and see the smaller ones, the one I got, and you can see kind of that setup there. Actually, I I, I think this is a this is a little different because mine, I uh, you you don't see as much uh, overhead there above the ATEM there on the on the lower image. And uh, mm-hmm. if you were to look at, at at mine, you see I got this like giant space here that I can attach more things. Like that wasn't included in the in the photos for the for the unit that I that I purchased. You have so, so much room for more activities. Yeah, I got so much room for streaming activities. It's beautiful, isn't it? So, if you're interested in that, if, if you are, if you did reach out, or, or, or you're kind of investigating for for uh, ATEM Mini Pro or ATEM Mini of any size um, for it, um, you can go check that out. At, it's at castcrate.com. Um, they got it with to me with I'd say in about a week or so. Uh, so, um, you know, I think it's just the guy that's making these, you know, I think it's somebody just with a wood shop that's doing this thing, right? So, um, mm-hmm. but no, go check that out. It's worthwhile if you're, uh, if you're into this, this hardware like I am. So, and then even, I can tell you right now, this is the first, this is the second show because we ran last night's show off of this and it's just so accessible to have it right here at my fingertips. Um, everything that I need here. It's like every- plus, it's ele- I, I like how it's elevated like that. Yeah, it's elevated. It's not- so, so it's up off the desk, so you don't have to worry about the heat collecting so much. It's open in the background, so that can dissipate. And then, like the cords. Um, the biggest thing here. Uh, the the other thing is, I was kind of. I was. Here's a little tip. Uh, at least I hope this is going to be a good tip. Um, you can't see here, but you see the cords are kind of out here, and because otherwise they're plugged right into the unit here. Like mm-hmm. like uh, I'm sorry, audio people, but but you there's you see that there's a little space. So I ended up buying these little. Um, you can buy HD, HDMI extenders, and they're only like an inch long, two inches HDMI extenders, so that I'm repeatedly plugging into those instead of the port on the ATEM Mini, right? Because literally, since we only have four ports, and I'm doing two digitals, me, and then this over-the-shoulder shot with the uh, old iPhone 8, um, the next show I'm doing after this has uh, two guests, so I need to put these cameras on over here, so I'm going to have to disconnect and reconnect, and I'm just worried about the wear and tear from the show to show, and I don't want the ports on the thing, and I don't... Mm-hmm. And 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 given some of my setup and my woes about like even while I've been sitting here, this this uh, uh, preview window uh, monitor has been blinking on me for some reason. Like I don't understand. Like there's something weird with it, right? And there's like a very I have to do voodoo to make the ATEM uh, uh, thing work, right? But ideally, you're not. Mm-hmm. It's it, it's supposed to be kind of a one case use. You set it up and that's it, right? Is my thinking, I guess. Um, you know, if I had this in a box with a monitor, we'd be set to the monitor and we'd be good to go. Try and make it do things that wasn't really designed for. So, and plus, I got a weapon if anybody gets out of line here with this. That's true. That comes off here. Yeah, you can see kind of the screw ports that they put in there.